And Darko Ryakovic, assistant coach for the Grizzlies, he said, we got to make them move defensively. We've got to do that by moving the ball a lot better on the offensive end. Westbrook finds Zubats. And then a foul. Have to bring a little bit higher level of intensity. Powell sets up Eric Gordon. He's back in. His three off. Zubats blocked by Aldama, but Zubats got it back. A Kawhi Leonard three. No, and the rebound Tillman. Come of their season. Aldama catch and shoot three. It's through. No, they're going to take it away. An offensive foul. Should the shot count go and there be a foul after the shot? Like the foul didn't happen on the shot. It's like the ball is gone. So now you call a foul there. That's yeah, wrong. Yeah. yeah. But seriously, I don't understand why it's not why the shot doesn't count. I understand some clarification. We had Kane Fitzgerald on in the last game. Maybe Kane in the replay center can uh, chime in on the back channel and let us know about that. Six to shoot, Aldama backing down through a crowd. Yes, and the foul. There we go, there's some determined moves by the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, Brevin, here, here's your answer. Uh -oh. A player who commits a foul cannot score by, cannot score a basket by rule. So, three, Bones Highland, pump fake. His three off, boarded by Aldama. Six seconds remain in the period. Clippers don't have a foul to give. Aldama driving two seconds, turns and draws a foul from Robert Covington. That'll put him at the free throw line with 1.8. So, can he get the stop and another basket that at least gets a little juice here in this building, but also a little bit of juice through this Grizzlies basketball team. So you see the, the grip there. Shot clock at 10. David Roddy just nice. checked in. Great find to Aldama. Yes, and a foul. Foul on Highland. Oh, again, this unit moving the basketball. Roddy here, great, great find. And you see the push there with the player going up in the air. And a good job by Santi to concentrate and finish. With the Clippers. Final minute, third quarter. Aldama steps out for three. Goes to the drive. Yes, and another foul. I think Santi Aldama has this as part of his game. There's sometimes where he just falls in love with taking the three. But here tonight, we've seen him pump fake and continue to drive to the basket. We've seen him fight for offensive rebounds. And when you talk about getting into the playoffs, understanding the level of physicality. Looks to Taylor Jenkins, is what do we got? Six seconds is what you got. Bain drives. Roddy, Aldama hooks, follows. No, it won't count. That will not count. Well, they do it. It won't count. It won't count. Yeah, it won't count. But giving up 34. Offense picked up, and the defense picked up also. Jackson missing over Diabate. Loose ball. Roddy. Aldama, the offensive rebound in the stick back. Yeah, it's good. Almost high in the Denver Nuggets. That's right. And the Grizzlies. Again, Sacramento is taking on Portland tonight. 108-94 is your final. And the reason why the Grizzlies had to win tonight. Yes, because that game's in Portland, but Portland has basically pulled the plug on the season. So yes. you assume Sacramento's going to win. So the Grizzlies, if things play out the way we assume they will,